Hi, Larry, WD0AKX, and on uh, eBay I ran into an interesting little kit. It looked like it'd be a fun build and a useful tool. It's a capacitance meter. It'll test the value of your capacitors. So let's get started. Although I already have a commercially made capacitance meter, I uh, thought for the price, about $10, you can get these on eBay. I didn't think I could go wrong for that, and it would be a fun little build. So this is how it arrived. If this is something you might be interested in, just do a search on eBay for capacitance meter kit. This is not a kit I would recommend for beginners. Uh, you do need a little bit of experience identifying components, and the instructions are very poor, uh, so you need to be able to figure out things on your own. If you have a mentor, uh, it's not a difficult kit, but you do need some experience or have somebody that can help you out uh, following the diagram and the uh, identification of parts. The manual recommends to install the parts as labeled on the PC board, and the PC board is labeled quite well. You do want to pay attention to the polarity of the electrolytic capacitors, as always. And they are labeled well. There are some labels on the PC board that are not used, so just install the parts that you see in the list and you'll be fine. I uh, decided to lay out my capacitors and start there first since they're at the top of the list, so I'm going to go ahead and install those. The positive terminals of the capacitor have a square pad, solder pad, on the, tr on the board here, as you can see. So the positive will go there and the negative in the round hole. The capacitors are labeled. As always, electrolytics are usually polarity sensitive. This is the minus side, negative side, and that will go into the round hole on the pads. So I will insert my capacitors and solder them in and then clip the leads off. And I'll just do this a section at a time. This is the capacitors to start with. Then I'll go ahead and finish the rest of the components. And I like to check off each component one at a time as they're installed. Now that all the components are installed, I will use a little isopropyl alcohol, 91%, to clean off the solder flux on the bottom of the board and inspect the board for good connections. Everything looking good so far, so let's go ahead and power it up. Hopefully it works. Looks good. There's a zero button. And you need to press this to zero everything out when you first begin um, powering after power up. It is recommended this be mounted in a metal housing for stability, which I will do later. So I have some capacitors. Let's test them out here. Let's start with the 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now these leads on this capacitor are kind of big for the socket. Uh, that's one thing, the socket is not good for larger leads. So I'm going to have to hold, kind of hold this in place. It won't quite uh, fit into the socket. So as you can see, it's hard to read here on the camera. About 102 microfarads, 101, so looking good. Let's try another one, a 15 microfarad. Since these are electrolytic capacitors you do need to watch the polarity and is labeled on the circuit board there which way to plug the capacitor in and we're showing uh, about uh, 18 there and let's try a little mica capacitor uh, 470 picofarad and as you can see once I get it plugged in here it is showing about 470 picofarad right in that range looking good now this is not an electrolytic, so the polarity does not matter. Let's try a little disk capacitor, 0 0.02. A 0 0.02 microfarad disk is equal to a 20 nanofarad. And as you can see, it's reading about 21, 22 nanofarad. Now I did do a test on these same capacitors on my commercial tester, and everything came out just about the same. So uh, this little kit is well worth the price, I would say. So there you go, a fun little kit that doesn't cost a lot. And uh, I think it'll be very useful on the test bench here. So thanks for watching, and 7-3 from WD0AKX.